We're prepared to start a new history, and we're ready to write a new chapter between our nations. President Trump only hours ago spoke at a news conference following his summit meeting with North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un. Joining me now to talk about the things he saw at this meeting and what it means for the Korean Peninsula is, and, and will it change the world forever, political uh, 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 lawyer professor, uh, Young Soo Kim, who teaches political science and Asian studies. You are from Seoul, South Korea. How long have you been in this country? Uh, I've been in here for 15 years. And, and what did you get out of this? Because the, the Koreans have the most to gain or lose in this. And I have seen some Korean analysts who have been talking about this. They are not terribly happy with it or as optimistic as, say, President Trump. Uh, there are big cleavage ideologically in South Korea. There are very uh, progressive groups, which is younger generation. There is older generation who experienced Korean War. They're very conservative. They have, we have to rely on United States for our own security. So we have some kind of a security kind of a dilemma situation. We have to rely on the United States. But uh, Trump said that, okay, United States have to leave South Korea, right? That is really shocking news for them because they have been relying on the United States for a long time. And, and this, this uh, President Trump said that they would cease the military operations, the so-called war games. Uh, a lot of South Koreans are concerned about that. Yeah, exactly, right, because we are definitely uh, dependent on the United States for our own security. But in general, last, uh, last night talks with the, um, uh, Kim Jong-un and um, uh, uh, President Trump, that was really welcomed by the, the South Korean people because that is a kind of a reopening the process of uh, peaceful negotiation. And, and when South Korea's president met with Kim Jong-un and he, he crossed into North Korea for a step and they had a very warm handshake. Oh, exactly. I mean, it, it really was a, a turning point that I assume you never thought you'd see in your lifetime. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's correct, yeah. So it's really amazing, shocking moment of history. Like, um, so um, I was really happy and embarrassed and, and uh, very excited about what has happened. But at the same time, most, uh, more important thing is that uh, President Trump meet with the Kim Jong-un than the President Moon Jae-in meet with, meet with Kim Jong-un. And, and, and this, this is a, a first step, a small step, but a huge step in many ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because these two countries in history, they, were, they, they never had a meet. The, the leaders of th these two countries have uh, never met each other for a long time. They have, they've been hostile to each other extremely. They call each other really bad names, right? But yeah. if for the first time they met together, they recognize each other, they negotiate with each other, they publish the joint statement. That was a really big step. At the same time, if, if you see the conscience of the uh, uh, joint agreement, that should be kind of baby step, let's and, say. And, and while you cannot take away anything from President Trump's efforts to make this happen. Kim Jong-un did things in South Korea his father and grandfather couldn't do. He has got that nuclear uh, program to a point where he was a force. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, he was quite desperate because he wanted change. And um, change can be started from the changed policy of the United States toward North Korea. So the uh, only way to drew, bring the uh, United States uh, to the uh, negotiation, ta negotiation table is uh, by developing nuclear weapon and completing nuclear weapon. So last year, September, they complete the high, uh, high, hydro bomb uh, is a kind of a tipping point that the United States changed their policy vis-a-vis -vis North Korea. Now, in, in one word, are you optimistic? About what? About, about peace in, on the Korean Peninsula. Uh, yes or no? <laughs> right. Uh, no, by seeing the, what they actually uh, reached the agreement upon, right, by seeing the content of the agreement, and, and uh, because there's you know, nothing like a guideline and timeline and conditions and stuff like that about denuclearization. But sometimes, many times, papers and wording become silent. Well, we'll see what happens. Right. right. Thank so, you for um, in. depending on the political will, each leader actually have. All right. Thank you very much for coming right. in. Thanks for having me.